Hello everyone and welcome to European Ticket. So uh, my name is Lori Zaroukian and I come from Lebanon. I studied food science and management as my bachelor's at the American University of Beirut and I am currently doing my master's degree in international food business and consumer studies in Germany. So I am here basically today to introduce to you the master's program I'm studying along with the information about admission, visa process, financial requirements and some following opportunities. So basically, what is the course name? As I mentioned, we uh, call it IFBC, International Food Business and Consumer Studies. I am studying this uh, master's program in Germany. It is a joint degree between two universities, University of Kassel in Witzenhausen and Fulda University of Applied Sciences in Fulda. Now about the core subjects and the inclinations of the program. So basically the program is characterized by a multidisciplinary approach at the interface between agriculture, food business and consumer sciences within an international and cross-cultural context. So basically the core subjects are international legislation on consumer protection and food, international organic food markets and marketing, food product development, research methods, food quality management, recent developments in food and nutritional sciences, consumer science and sustainable consumption. There are some other food electives that you can take and business electives. And there will be a bridging module which will be assigned by the university. And the bridging modules basically compensate different background knowledge of the students. The project work itself is 18 credits. It is interdisciplinary based on different topics. And of course, the master thesis is 30 credits. The whole program is a 120 credits program. And of course, the program is taught totally in English. Which type of academic backgrounds can fit into this? So basically, if you come from a background of food science, food technology, food research and development, agricultural sciences, nutritional sciences, nutrition and dietetics, all these topics cover the academic background which can fit into this master's program. Now for the admission process, the basic steps of the admission process you have to check for the needed documents on the homepage of the study program on Unicastle's website and submit an application and the application then will be examined formally and then forwarded to the examination board and they check if any additional information or document is needed and get back to you by email. Now for the requirements of the admission, Basically, you must have a bachelor's degree with a minimum of 180 ECTS credits or equivalent. Grade B, as in 2.5 according to German grading system. The earlier mentioned academic backgrounds, where I said the majors you come from. Proof of sufficient proficiency in English language. Your curriculum vitae, CV. CV letter of motivation and two letters of references. Um, some notes here that uh, you should always check uh, the notes related to the official certifications and translations and uh, to be able to provide them in the correct languages. Now, where to apply? Uh, there basically is a central point of contact for applicants with international educational, educational certificates which checks and evaluates foreign certificates and this is called the uni assist and uh, how long will it take to get back the results you will receive the results after about four to six weeks by email or by post if the formal requirements are met your data will be forwarded to the university of castle as for the visa process the updates about the latest visa requirements for all countries, you can see them on the website of the German Federal Foreign Office. And you apply for a visa, a student visa, basically, in your home country. Some countries don't need a visa to enter Germany, so you always have to check your country's um, information as well. 
Student visa is the type of visa you will apply to if you have received your notification of an admission to a university. And then the required documents for a visa application will be, of course, a valid passport, health insurance covered certificate, proof of financial resources, certificates of past academic work, English proficiency uh, language certificate, letter of acceptance, of course, from a German university, and health certificate. Additional documents are always related to your German diplomatic mission in your home country. Now, how long will it take for the approval? It completely is dependent on your home country and the visa process. Let me give here an example. Uh, for example, in Lebanon, I got my student visa in two months. So it really depends on the countries uh, and their processes. And uh, how long is the visa, as in how uh, much validity does it have? Usually it is valid for three months. Within these three months, then you can apply for residence permit once you are in Germany. Now, what is the visa processing fee? It depends on the country you come from. You should check for the visa requirements based on your home country as usual. Now, let's talk about some financial uh, let's say topics. What is the semester or yearly fee? Um, it is around 248 euros till 296, but this also can be uh, changed due to the situation. Uh, can you get any scholarships? Of course, there are 100 plus student scholarships. You can watch our video of scholarships in Germany for international students on our YouTube channel. Do we need a blocked account? Yes, it is either a blocked account or a sponsor funding your expenses in Germany. Some examples of blocked accounts are Fintiba, Expatrio, Coracle, and uh, the security deposit that you will be needing nowadays, it's 934 euros a month, which is 11,208 euros per year. But this amount also changes every year. So you have to check uh, for this information. How does the system work? Is it a monthly debit to your current account or you can choose not to use it at all? So basically, after coming to Germany and opening a German bank account, you can link the blocked account you have to your local bank IBAN and there you start getting monthly debits. This will be your monthly cost of living source. And what is the cost of living? Of course, again, it depends on the economic situation of the country. Nowadays, on average, it's 867 euros a month. And um, basically, you need it for accommodation rent, food, clothing, books, electronics, for example, health insurance, SIM card fees, TV and radio tax, etc. How about the workload? Do you get some free time? From my own experience, by IFBC, the master's program, the busiest semester is the first semester. One of the reasons is that it will still be overwhelming to students because of the new country conditions, new environment and a lot to learn about and etc. However, by the second and third semesters, workload will become easier, but it also depends on the person and their learning style. For me, I had extra time because I really focused on time management and I was trying to learn what is needed and not waste a lot of extra time. And another question would be, are you able to manage a part-time job? Yes, a lot of students in Germany work part-time jobs, of course, within the limited hours provided by our student visa. You can do 10 hours per month, up to 80 hours per month. It's all up to you. Usually student jobs are flexible. Now for future opportunities, let's say, um, where does this list master's program will take us basically so employment opportunities include uh, responsible and leading positions in national and multinational companies and institutions of the food industry and consumer protection especially at the interfaces of different cultures so many areas of work of our current graduates basically are product development quality management stakeholder management certification marketing sales research and, edu and education 
Graduates can also, of course, pursue, pursue to further postgraduate studies, PhDs. Let me share with you some examples of alumni job positions from IFBC program. We have, for example, food quality management positions at Marco uh, GmbH. This is a producer of all kinds of meat. We have another position of our alumni, communication and community manager at Nearby, where they develop a digital tool for all businesses along the food supply chain. It is a business to business, uh, basically, a workplace. Sourcing manager at Greenyard. This is a vegetables company, which is farm to fork. Product manager at Theo Müller. It's a milk and whey ingredients business unit. Research analyst for sensory and consumer insights at Develle GmbH. Sensory researcher at Easy Göttingen. Commercial director for export and business at Top Garlic Spain. And a lot of other opportunities also in the UK, Netherlands and Austria. What is the stay back and permanent residency policies? So basically, after completing the master's thesis successfully, you are eligible to get an 18-month job seeking visa. During this period, you start applying for jobs. As for the permanent residency, you must work in a company for at least two years and have a gross salary more than or equal to 4,800 euros per month. And you have to complete a B1 German level. This was all the information I would like to share with you today from my experience of uh, IFBC master's program student. And I would like to have uh, some suggestions for you. Read as much as you can about the program you want to study and about the country you are going to travel to and you are going to live in. Because more information is never wrong. And I would also like uh, to suggest that you visit the website www.study-in-germany.de And there you can really get a lot of information. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks for watching. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please like, share and subscribe.